Hey, yo. Hey, you are staring at the city. My name is Nathan. I got a very special guest with me here today. Go ahead and tell him your name and what you represent. What's up? I'm Ace P. I'm a producer out of Minneapolis. Work with a handful of guys I want to talk about in a bit. Working on a few projects I want to talk about in a bit, but yeah. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Um, okay, so tell me, who are, first of all, who are your inspirations? Like, you already told me RZA off the top. Like, you're trying to do, like, a, uh, your version of a RZA thing right now and how your space helps you with that. Yeah, yeah. Who are your inspirations? I feel like, obviously, I shouldn't say obviously, but for me it goes back to, like, I think of, like, the 90s. And, like, that's probably the era for me that really, like, is like that. I know everybody has different eras that they, like, hold like, yeah. dear to their heart. But for me, that's that. And so, like, from, like, DJ Premier to... Riza, to I mean I'm gonna blank on so many names but just like some of these classic producers that I feel like people yeah. that I like studied and people that I like went through and was like how are they organizing their beats we were talking before about like song flow and, and who like, put you onto them honestly I feel like or were you my, just doing your research no probably doing my research okay. I feel like what really that I, I always think that's an interesting conversation with people and like how like the path to different people that's what I'm saying and I remember for me it was um Early Kanye, like I really oh. got into early Kanye, which for people who probably listen to my beats, it's easy to hear like that sample, you know, and I like to do a lot of that same stuff. Yeah. Um, but then he did, he talked a lot in interviews about people and I remember a person he talked a lot about was Pete Rock. There you go. Yep. And so for me, <laughs> like I was like, you know, at that point in my life, I was young. I was like, who the hell is Pete Rock? Let me go back and right. listen to Pete Rock. <laughs> so like I listened to Pete Rock. And then from there, it's like, let me listen to like boot camp click. Let me listen to like all of these like different okay. like. Um, you know, there's, you can go so deep into some of that Absolutely, stuff. Like, yeah, let me yeah. listen to Nas, who has on Illmatic a list of producers that all of them you could go so deep into their own catalog. Different just trees and branches. and Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. And so I feel like once you start that, it's so easy to just, like, continue. Respect, respect. Um, okay, so tell me about this. Tell me about selling beats versus working with artists. Because we just talked about that for a second. I'm yeah. curious. Like, yeah, I, I, what do you want to share about that? How um, do you feel? You know? I mean... I feel like there's honestly, I don't know the right approach because it's not like I've said, I can say I've come out on the other side and quote, made it and can say I know the right approach necessarily. Sure, fair. And so I feel like if you talk to different people, there's different approaches. I feel like for me, I try to develop relationships. I really try to like work with people who, I, like there's some people who you make music with and like that's cool and that's it. And there's some people who I feel like you really get to know. And like on a personal level, there's like, you know, you click with them. And I feel like I try to like, find those people who sonically you click with who just like as a person you click with and ride with that and try you were talking before about how you not only want to get on but like everybody around you you want to make sure that those are people who are succeeding and getting the right like attention that they deserve for like the art that they're putting out and I think that's really what it is for me is trying to find people who I mess with and instead of having this model of let me sell beats let me see how much I can make so I can pay my bills tomorrow <laughs> yeah um, let me see who I can build with and hopefully in like in five years we're doing more so have you done like um, have you had like had any placements like or like had any like uh, organizations or entities like movie companies want to purchase your stuff or like put it in there work or anything like that or, or are you trying to get to that point you know i probably should do that i have not i, I feel, feel like, like you, i feel like you could i'm just gonna say that i appreciate you know? that yeah. no i feel like i've heard like you all i always see at least because i'm like probably targeted for the ads online people are like <laughs> here's how you can sell your beats on you know to be in video games to do this type of shit right right but yeah. you're not even interested in that i've thought about it i feel like i probably should like if i looked at it objectively and it's not me i would tell myself i probably should i get so hyper focused on the music that i make and the artists respect. that i'm working with that i feel like that's where my best beats respect. go and it's really hard to make a beat and be like this is just going to be for this video game thing that i'm doing like the ones that i end up not using yeah i don't know i try to i love video games personally yeah. so like to me that would be dope as fuck hell yeah yeah like, but no I, yeah. I feel you like yeah. that's what you're focused on the relationship with the artist and the music yeah and that's dope yeah that's fire yeah okay. and i feel like just you know as an artist who would love to be able to be full time, a full time artist, but currently is not, it's like you only have so much time, and so I try to put my focus into you know what you can do. Really, that's real. You know, we want to spend as much of our time feeling free and being free and doing exactly what we want as we can. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Tell me about this event that you went to. Can I kick it? Yeah, it was. Who played there? Who did you see? What did you like? Why did you go? Hey, it was a dope event. I wish I could rattle off the whole list of names. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. No, it remember? was um, yeah. DJ by DJ Buster Baxter, my man. Um, 
My man Bushido Chop played, Righteous MC played, my man Juice Lord played, Dungeon Fire. Baptist played. Fire. Um, I know I'm forgetting some names, but everyone who played just honestly killed it. It was a dope lineup. Respect. No, but it's a cool. Um, it was. Um, it's the Minneapolis Hip Hop Corner that um, maybe you've seen them online, but they do. It seems like they kind of cool. like promote certain stuff. Cool. They, they've cool. done shows. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they put this together. It was it was a dope event. It was dope to just it like get nice. people there. They had wireless mics. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Legit. <laughs> Legit. Yeah. No, they had some cool stuff. They had graffiti outside. They had some people doing like glass blowing. They had like some like THC vendors, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So really quickly, just one more time. Let's touch this just one more time. Work. Like having to do your work life versus like music. Yeah. And being able to create music. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? How do you feel about it? Where would you like to be? Where are you now? What, yeah. do, you, what do you think about that? Yeah. yeah, I mean, for me, it would be great to be able to just focus on music and not have to, but you know, you gotta pay the bills. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> yeah, and that's what it comes down to. Yeah. It's just like, for me, how can I, let me say this, if I'm going to, quote, make it, by whatever means that means, and there's a lot of different definitions of what that is, but if I'm gonna do that, I'm probably stubborn, but I want to do that on my own terms, making music that I want to make. And so rather than saying, not that I would have this chance, but let me make some quick pop beats and sell it and make them and make a bunch of money and do whatever, but that's not my style. Hmm. Rather than doing something like that, just to try and say that then I can do music full time, I'm probably stubborn to the point where I want to do my sound and do my thing. And until that pops off and I can pay the bills that way, then I'm going to make, then I'm going to continue to pay the bills by other means, if that makes sense. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. That's righteous. For real. No, no, no. Yeah. And speaking of righteous, talk to me about uh, Righteous MC. You work with Righteous MC. I do. I work with him a lot. He and I have a project we're working on right now. He's done this series of projects called Mount Olympus. Um, and this one's going to be the fourth in his series. So Mount Olympus 4. Um, I'm producing the whole thing. The goal, I think he wants it to be kind of like a work. Clash of the Titans, Battle of the Gods type thing. And so he's getting a lot of features on it. We've been doing a lot of sessions. We have like eight tracks done, I think, right now. So, yeah. Eight tracks, that's a nice number. Yeah, no, yeah. he's an easy person to produce for, too. Because okay. if you've listened to him, the man just has bars on bars on bars. I feel like he just, like, he, to me, I feel like I kind of almost like throwing him like curveballs at times and being like, all right, are you going to be able to hop on this one? <laughs> like, are you going to be able to do this one? Because he, like, he really knows yeah. how to find a pocket. And, and he's, he's like, oh, okay, like, and then flexes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, he's a, he's, I think he's a fun dude to produce for, for sure. Talk about art, other artists here that you like to work with. Men that I like to work with? Yeah, or like artists that you enjoy. Listen, like artists from here that inspire you or that you like to work with. Or Man. You would like to work with. Man, I will say this. Somebody that I really want to work with, I've sent beats, but I have not had a chance like for a studio session, Muja Messiah. Whoa, hey. Like, uh, respect. Yeah, no, yeah. mad respect to him. Mad respect. And I feel like I say that too because there's a lot of dope artists. Um, but I always am looking for people who I feel like blend well with my sound. And I feel like when I hear his shit, I'm like, God damn, like, I want to get beats to this guy. He's nice. He's very clever. Yeah. You know? He's very creative and clever, which I love. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Yeah. No, I really fuck with his music a lot. Hell yeah. Yeah. Anyone else? Um, man, right now... Uh, another name that I want to work with, Metasota. I really want no. to get some stuff in with yes. him. Yes, no, definitely. He's got some features on stuff that I'm working with on my beats, but I just want to get a session in with him, man. He, yeah, yeah. Every time I see stuff of his, I know he's just, it's, he's kill, he kills it. Mm-hmm. Metasota is ill for sure. Probably one of the top top freestylers in the in the area, in the region, in the state that I've ever met. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I, In the world, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Word, word, man. Yeah, and the reason I got into music and all this is like through freestyle and like yeah. watching freestyle artists like Idea. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Tear up the mic. I like Scribble Jam and stuff like that. So when <laughs> I like, see, I want to be that dude. <laughs> when I see, I mean, not necessarily. I just like want to be around it. You yeah, know what I I'm saying? That. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> so when I see artists like, you know what I'm saying? Like Minnesota who can just freestyle like that. Or like B-Dot, Croc, mm-hmm. who can just freestyle mm-hmm. like that. I'm just mm-hmm. like... That's another name I would love to work with. Absolutely, yeah. I'm just like, hey, like that freestyle shit, man, that gets me every time. Because like that's really, that's, yeah. That's yeah. how I got here. Tell me about how you know uh, the clams. You know oh, the clams? Man. Yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> I know the clams from, I feel like before they were the clams. Shout out clams. <laughs> Shout out clams. <laughs> you said before they were clams. Yeah. For real, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, me and my man Eric, who plays bass in the Eric, clams. Yep. We Shout went to school Witty. together. My man Witty. Um, I grew up playing the drums, played a little bit of the keyboard, but... Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, he and I messed around a lot way back in the day when we were in school. Me, 
on the drums, him on the bass, him on the guitar, oh, just like lots of different fire, shit. Fire. You know, I feel like that was a point in both of our lives where we were kind of like figuring out what each of our sound was. He kind of went in that direction. At that point, I was like, why the fuck am I not making beats? I'm doing everything but making oh, beats. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, we. he's, he's my man for sure. Respect, man. Yeah. yeah. Respect and shout out Klansmen and shout out good friends. That's right. So you work also with, uh, well, first of all, you work out of your home studio. Yeah, I work out of my basement. For That's the dope. In South Minneapolis, shout out. You work with uh, several artists. You, you work with Saiku. Uh, am I saying that right? Saiku. Saiku. Yeah. You work with Saiku. Yeah. Man, yeah, tell me about what's it like having your home studio working with artists in Minneapolis? Man, it's dope. I feel like for me, I was saying it earlier, it's about finding like the people who I really connect with and I click with. Yeah. And finding that core group of dudes that like I feel like really, yeah. you know, their sound is my sound. Um, you know, I, when I make a beat, I'm excited to hear their verse when they record that over there. I feel like they trust me when it comes to whatever I'm doing on my end. There's that mutual like trust and respect with that. Like And Nucky, you work with us Absolutely, well? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and so I feel like it's been really nice to be able to have that, and more than that, have my space to be able to just like schedule stuff, have people over, not feel like I'm, I guess, paying for studio time because I've never had to do that. Um, so man, no, it has been really nice. I, yeah. I feel like I've got... Um, I'm working on this project that's close to being done, but um, yeah, no people that I got on it right now are anyone from Juice to Vinnie Crooks to Nucky to Seiko and June and Basement Gang um, to Righteous MC to Bushido Chop. Um, mm. I've got a track on this project I'm working on with White Kalik. Um, Respect. Yeah, no, so it's been dope, and I feel like now I found you know a group of guys that, like I said, I'm having over fairly regularly. It's nice. Oh, okay, cool. So okay, yeah. 